What's up guys? Welcome back to Tomato Tomato. Today we are comparing pho. And remember, it is pho, not pho. We will be heading to number one pho and Asia Food Co. That's right, we're heading to Asia Food Co first. Let's go eat. Three dudes on one mission. We're comparing the biggest contenders and giving our biased opinion on who can truly claim the best of the East and West. We are here at Asia Food Co. to try some pho. It's actually in the back of the grocery store. See how it is. Really good. The broth is rich. The freshness from the herbs and the fatty from the beef. It all works together really well. That is delicious. I like it. It's a really tasty, rich broth, like Vaughn was saying. It's not overly salty or anything. Meat's fresh, noodles are perfect. Ramen on steroids is a good description. It's pretty tasty. Lots of flavor, really fresh. All right, I've never had pho before, but that was excellent. We're headed over to number one. All right, we're here at number one pho. Let's see if the name rings true. Noodles here are a little bit more firm. I actually think I like that a lot. Broth is clear, fatty, and the taste of cinnamon. Mm. <laughs> Broth's a little different. Yeah. It's really good, it's really yeah. Good. Let me taste the meats. It's good. This is gonna be a tough competition here. I really like the broth at the last place, but this place's broth is really good too. It's lighter, I would say. More herbal. Dang, it's very similar. It's very good. I don't know which one I like better right now. Ooh, that was delicious. We'll go back to the studio to hash this out, but first, a quick tip from Bot. To increase aroma in your herbs, give it a good slap before adding it to a dish or a cocktail. Okay guys, here's how the judging works. We rate the restaurants in three categories, food, value, and experience. We rate out of five, five being the best, zero being the worst. The restaurant with the most points is the winner. All right guys, let's get into the judging. First off, Asian Food Co. and experience. I gave Asian Food Co. four out of five tomato slices. I thought it was a cool experience overall going into a different culture's grocery store. Uh, definitely a different vibe than going to a restaurant, but overall it was pretty cool. I gave them a five. Been going there since I was a child. I love eating in the back of a grocery store, and while your food is waiting, you can do your shopping, so it's kind of two in one. All right, I gave Asia Food Co. a 4.5. I have a really soft spot for ethnic foods in the back of grocery stores, and that was right up my alley. Everyone was really friendly and nice. Number one pho, I gave a five out of five for experience. I thought the restaurant's really nice. I've been in there before. It's clean, looks good, no complaints. I gave them a four out of five. The restaurant was nice, the staff is super friendly, and the food's good. I gave them a 4.5 out of five. Uh, it's a nice, clean restaurant in a convenient location. Thumbs up. Next category, value. For Asian Food Co., I gave them a five out of five. It was $7.95 for a big bowl of pho that we were all able to split. It was plenty for us, killer deal. I don't think you can beat it. I also gave them a five. $7.95 for a big bowl of pho. It was a fantastic deal. 
I gave them a five out of five for value as well. I don't really know a cheaper meal that you could split with someone in town. Number one pho for value, I gave them a 3.5 out of five. It was a little on the pricey side. It was $12 for the large bowl. The average price for bowls there was about 10 bucks, but I am considering just their entire menu is a little pricey. It was $4 for a Thai iced tea and a little steep. I gave them a four. It was a little bit more priced than the, um, the Asian food cup, but the meats were a little bit different. So I think it was relatively fair for what, what we got. All right, I gave a four out of five. Thought the food was a little bit pricier, but I can understand running a restaurant. It's a lot more expensive. So I think you're paying more for being at a restaurant, sitting down in a nice environment. Final category, food. For Asian Food Co., I gave them a four out of five. I thought the food was really good. It was really hard to pick which pho was better between the two restaurants. It was a great experience though, and all around, thumbs up. I also gave them a four. I thought the broth was delicious, it was rich. The meat was good, all the uh, sprouts and pie basil was good. I gave them a 4.5 out of five. Well, I just wanna save that last little point five for the perfect bowl someday. But it was delicious. It was a nice, rich, meaty broth, and that's the kind of broth I do like in my soups. All right, number one pho for food. I gave them a 4.5 out of five. I actually like this pho a little bit better. It just seemed overall a little bit more refreshing less meat flavors and more vegetable flavors. And I just overall like that a little better. It was very comparable, they're both really good, but that one just came out on top for me. I gave them a four out of five. The two broths were really different. One was more of a rich broth, one was a little bit more herbaceous. Um, it's kind of like a day-to-day like a -day thing, whichever one you're kind of feeling that day. I gave them a four out of five for food. Uh, like Don was saying, a little more herbal of a broth, a lot lighter, uh, nice cinnamon flavor to it. All right, let's tally up those scores. Is that ended up right? All right, final scores. A Wait, Asia? Asia. All right, final scores. Asia Food Co. got 13 out of 15, and number one pho got 13 out of 15. I had a tie. Wow, yeah. is, is it our first tie in the show? Well, yeah. let's see if you guys can break it. Okay. Uh, for Asia Food Co., I gave them a 14 out of 15. For number one, I gave them a 12 out of 15. All right, for Asia Food Co., I gave them a 14 out of 15. And for number one pho, I gave a 12.5 out of 15. Well, there you have it, folks. Asia Food Co. takes it for the win. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, good work. Good work in the back of that store. Both places are really good, but if you're looking for an extra cool experience, Go on down and check out Asia Food Co. Get yourself some pho. It's been fun. Are you gonna pick it up after that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's totally blank. Uh, let us know what you think of both these spots or other places we should check out in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to tell a friend about Tomato Tomato. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.